So this is another pro tip for you. This is about grease traps and drain lines. Now you might not think about that very often. Uh, they're underneath your feet. You really don't notice them. The grease traps are obviously buried somewhere else. Sometimes they are surface mounted, but sometimes it's buried. You just never see it and never think about it. But you will notice odors when you walk into a kitchen. Sometimes you walk into a kitchen and you'll smell an odor and it's actually coming up through the drain. It's actually because you got a backup of grease in your grease trap and things are moving slowly through your drains so therefore those odors come back up into the kitchen. It's not very pleasant sometimes. You might also have a situation where you have drains that are so old and some pipes that are so old they're full of dirt and they're full of grease and they're really not a good scene and they don't drain very well. You probably experienced that as well if you worked in enough kitchens. So there is some things that you can do on a regular basis to maintain your drains and help with your grease trap and reduce the number of times you have to pump out your grease trap. And that's actually by putting in live enzymes into your drains. So you take a product like this, which is full of bacteria and enzymes, and you put it into your drains on a daily basis, and over time, it will, the enzymes will eat and liquefy all that grease and slowly start cleaning out your drains and your grease traps. So the tip I would give you is that at the end of the day, the very last thing you do before you leave the kitchen and the floor's already been clean and you're walking out the door is you're gonna pour a cup of a liquid enzyme product that's made specifically for this purpose into your drain. And the reason why we're doing it at the end of the night is we don't want any more water going in the drain after you put this in. This is activated and works when it has time to grab onto the, the grease and the dirt and start breaking it down. If it washes away with water, then it won't do its job. So we want to wait until there's no more water going down the drain. The other tip I would give you is find out where your grease trap is and pour it in a drain that's the furthest away from the grease trap. That way, these enzymes just keep coming down this drain and over time, it'll reach all the pipes, all the drains, and then it will actually get into the grease trap and break down the grease in there and help with that process. So to live enzymes going in your drains, keep things smelling good and keep those drains free and clear.